Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This is a beer that was sent to me by Hawk Todd. Uh, this is Clear Creek Ice. It says Union Made, 6.2% alcohol by volume. Damngoodbeer.com is their website. Brewed by Menhouse Craft Brewery out of Monroe, Wisconsin. And guys, as you know, uh, I am not a big lager fan. And I think this is even classified as... Uh, as a malt liquor, I'm not even sure. So uh, it is what it is, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with this guy. If it's good, I'm gonna tell you it's good. If it's bad, I'm gonna tell you it's bad. All right. Uh, says brewed by Menhouse Craft Brewery, and and actually Ray Beer says it's a strong pale lager or imperial pills, being a 6.2 percent. Uh, they're out of Monroe, Wisconsin. Like I said, the uh, Food pairings for this cuisine is Indian, Latin American, and Pan Asian, and the glass bar is pint, Becker, Nautic Tumbler, Pilsner Glass, a Puffer Glass, Mug, Stein, Sidel. This is my lager or Pilsner Glass, and not recommended for extended cellarings. And if there's anything else we need to talk about before I pop the top on this one, uh, there is no commercial description other than it says strong beer. So let's pop the cap on this thing. Not a big fan of malt liquors or the run of a meal ice beers, but we'll see what this one brings. Not had anything from these guys before, so Hawk Todd, thanks for sending it. Uh, over to the light. It is uh, semi cloudy. I mean, a lot of bubbles. It looks like it's got a lot of carbonation going on. Very amber in color. But it is kind of cloudy. I'm surprised that it's as cloudy as it is. And with that aggressive pour, we got about a quarter finger of head on this one. So let's get a nose on this. <sighs> Grassy, grainy, a little hay, smell like a hay. Got a very sweet smell like a lot of malt liquors do. Might have a slight fruitiness to the smell. Well, the head is dissipated, so let's give it a taste and see what we got. I'm getting a little bit of oranges or tangerines. Grassy grainy, very thin. Not a whole lot of taste at all. Very bland, very watery. Just not my cup of tea. After drinking the beers that I've had, over 1,430 beer reviews now, these lagers, and especially iced beers or malt liquor, just taste sweet and bland and watery. It's not bad. I mean, if this was super ice cold with ice chunks floating in it and I just come off the uh, yard uh, cutting the grass or something, and you want to something suck something down real quick that was ice, super ice cold. I mean, it would have to be 32 degrees for me to like this beer. But it has no taste. It's just super bland and super watery. A little grassy, a little grainy, real thin and a tad on the sweet side.
very long, long moorish, if you will. But a lot of lawnmower beers have a little bit of taste. This one doesn't have a whole lot of taste. Not had this before, and if I've seen it on a store, I would probably leave it on the shelf, guys. It was uh, not that impressive. So let's let me uh, sip on it just for a minute or two. I don't like these beers once they get warm, and let the other half taste it, see what you think, and I'll come back and we'll do the final chug on this one. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. The other half didn't care for it whatsoever. And I'm going to be in that crowd. This is not something that I would seek out again. Unless they were giving this away for like $2 a six pack. I would not pick this up. And probably wouldn't pick it up even if it was $2 a six pack. Hawk Todd, thanks again for sending it. Let me try it. But it is not impressive. Not enough taste. It's a little on the sweet side. Grassy, grainy, thin, watery. I mean... If you're just after the 6.2% alcohol, then it's at a good price for a 6-pack, 12-pack, 18-pack, 24-pack. It might be something to get you drunk fast. So, but other than that, not impressive, guys. So, let's do the final chug. Just not doing it, guys. It's just not doing it. It's... Uh, like I said, thin, watery, bland, a little grassy, a little grainy, a little hay-like. It does have a little bit of orangey sweetness to it. It's not bad beer. It's not a drain pour, but it's not something that I would seek out, guys. It definitely doesn't have enough taste for this guy here. So, uh, But I appreciate Hawk Todd sending it to me. Let me give it a try. Guys, I would not seek this beer out. Uh, as far as dating, there's nothing on the can, so uh, not had anything from this brewery before. Menhouse Craft Brewery. I think they're taking that to a little extremes. I would definitely not call this a craft beer or a craft brewery if this is what they're putting out. So I'm going to give you my honest opinion, guys. This would be a 3. This would be a D. This is a below uh, C beer. This is a D beer. Not worth seeking out, not worth picking up. And just, unless you're just a malt liquor, cheap, Milwaukee's best type beer drinking guy. I mean, if you're looking for 100 beers for $3, this might be what you want to get. But I don't know what he paid for this. Uh, you might put that in the comments, uh, Todd, uh, what this beer costs. But there's hundreds, if not thousands of beers that's going to have more taste than this. And like I said, unless they're just giving away for 50 cents a can or 25 cents a can, I couldn't see purchasing this beer other than having the 6.2% alcohol and you just want to buy a 12 pack or an 18 pack of something that's got a little more alcohol than Bud Miller or Coors uh, just to get you drunk faster. So basically that's why they're brewing this. It's a nice beer and what that means they froze the beer and remove some of the ice. Of course, the alcohol is not going to freeze, and it's going to make the beer a little more potent. That's how they do that process. And they freeze the beer, remove the ice, and leave the alcohol there, which raises it up. The water content freezes, and they remove that, and that leaves more of the alcohol. And that's how they brew these, these ice beers. Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a process of freezing and getting the water off and leaving the alcohol in there to make it a little more potent. So, not, the, not a big fan of that process. I'm not a big fan of these type of beers, guys. So, a three from me, a D, not worth seeking out. Let's see what everybody else thinks. See if anybody agrees with me. Now, this is just my opinion. This is just my opinion. And I always say that, and I have comments back on guys, but I need to print a shirt on that that says it's just my opinion. But every beer review I've ever did, 1,430 some of them. It's just my opinion, guys. All right, over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says it's 62 in the pour range. I wouldn't argue that, and I think those numbers are a little generous, to be honest about it. And over to Rake Beer. <laughs> Rake Beer says zero in the overall and zero in the style. I think those numbers are a little harsh. But I would not argue with those. 
and so if you're into I mean and, and you gotta realize these are craft beer drinkers that's rating this type of beer and they're gonna be pretty much like me they're I hate to be the snobbish kind of beer if you got but this type of beer is just brewed for one purpose to get you drunk quick that's basically what, what malt liquor is about high alcohol not much taste to get your shit face fast that's basically what, it, what it's about so and that's what the, they probably uh, are trying to do with this beer so 6.2 percent clear creek ice definitely not worth picking up not worth seeking glad i got to try it would not purchase it if i was able to see it again in the store so if you've had this one from in-house brewery clear creek ice let me know what you think of it personally i think it sucked so with that being said I still appreciate you sending it to me, Todd. Let me try it. But I was kind of expecting that uh, when I seen the beer coming out of the beer mail package. So, uh, not much into these ice beers. Uh, I know that process and what they're trying to achieve there. Just to get more alcohol and not a lot of taste. So, like I said, if you want a lot more beer and you could chill and get this stuff super cheap and it'd be ice cold, I mean, it might be really nice to suck down, like a, instead of having a nice tea or a glass of ice water. To suck down on these ice beers might get you a little bit of buzz going on before you go back out in the yard and finish mowing the grass but wouldn't want to have more than one or two of these you might cut your damn leg off or you run over your foot or something so all right guys that's enough for this one if you've had it let me know what you think of it i wasn't super impressed so let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow maybe we'll get something just a little bit better got my bigger crowds see you then